Hello and welcome to McMucker Studios. In this video, I'm continuing my M32 edit series. Now, I was going to talk about effects for a while, but currently I'm repairing my mixer, so I can't run a microphone through it and experiment with effects. So instead, I'm going to talk about matrixes and how to route to them and everything. I got a comment asking questions, so let's get right into that. Okay, so here is the main page, is the mixer. So I've come down on this all page, and I've come all the way to the end here. So I want to look at the matrices. So to route to a matrix, you can only route buses and the main outs. So the left, right, and the main center, sub, however you have it set up, and mix buses. So what you do, just like you would any other channel, you jump into your sends, and there are your six matrices. You can, you know, send and mix those however you want. You've got all the mix buses in the left, right. If you go to the general mixer page, you can see how everything goes through those mixes, or through those matrices, rather. Uh, that's sort of the core of how to send things to matrices. There's a few other things around that. So if you jump into the sense page, you can decide if it's post fader or pre fader, post EQ, pre EQ input, which I did discuss about in uh, in the bus sends video that I did a while ago. So that. We'll go about this, and um, that's how you decide that. Then I also discussed some routing things. So this is your routing page. You route matrices just like you do anything else. So you've got all your mix buses and your main outs, and then you've got your matrices. You can send them out through your XLR outputs, but I usually send them out through the auxiliary outputs. You know, just like that, six auxiliaries, six matrices, makes sense. Depends where you want to go, you can do some here and some there, you can change how you want them to send out as well. I definitely have some on pre-fader, if I just always want it sending all this volume and I don't really touch it, or there's like, it's sending to a speaker that has its own volume knob, I just blast full volume and then I don't have to control it. At the desk, uh, you can also link matrixes, as you can expect, to have your left, right, you know, as you do. Do you want to link it? Yes, no. Great options there. Hopefully that's cleared up anyone's questions about matrixes. Uh, if you do have any other questions, do let me know. Um, matrixes, a couple of uses for matrixes. I've used one uh, in an auditorium. We had one for like a uh, an, an outside room, so I use um, for an overflow, for a for live stream, for an overflow to another room, for a, like a parent's room or something. There's lots of great options for that. You can use them because they just, they mix together. So it's great to have like a bus set or a couple buses set up for your overflow and it's just mix it together before it sends out. Or you can have like a bus and the main front of house and mix those together. There's lots of options there. Um, they are very useful and very versatile. Um, my, I sort of wish that the desk came with more outputs or that you could you know, attach more stage box and route to more outputs because only having 16 can be a little bit limiting. Uh, 16 mix buses, plus two for the front of house, plus like a subwoofer, plus any matrixes. So I usually, like I said, I usually use the auxiliary outs for the matrixes because I'm already using all the XLR outputs. So that's that. Um, lots of great options there for matrixes and how you want to use them. Again, that is how you send them. You go to your mix bus, go to sends. That's how you can mix to it. You can also do it on this mixer page up here and just throw some stuff in and it gives you a great bird's eye view of all the mixes going to the matrixes. Matrixes you'll notice can't send anywhere. They are like the end of the line, they just go out. Just go to outputs, you can't send them somewhere else in the desk. So, a uh, short video for me today, hopefully that answers all your matrix questions. If you do have any other questions about anything concerning the, the consoles or the M32 edit or any of the peripheral stage boxes, any of that, do let me know down in the comments below, I'll be happy to answer any of those. 
happy to do a video about it. If you have suggestions for other videos, uh, anything coming up, let me know and I will look into those. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, check out my socials in the links below and I hope you have uh, enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Now let's go do some audio.